Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here today. We are on PlayValorant.com talking about some huge news coming out of the Valorant World Patch 1.09 has dropped today and this is a very, very big patch with a ton of exciting and depending on who you ask, maybe not so exciting changes. But in this video today, we're going to be running through everything that changed in the game today. So when you head into your first ranked match, you know exactly what's going on and you have an even better chance of winning that game and climbing up the ranks fast. Uh, before we get into this one, I should mention real quick, if you're not already subscribed, definitely click that subscribe button really quick. It's free it's easy uh, it, it costs you absolutely nothing and it helps you stay up to date on all my latest content and it helps me out a ton as well so again if you're not subscribed click that button really quick it's going to help both of us out it's going to be a good decision but here we go getting right into this again valorant patch 1.09 this is a pretty big patch one of the more impactful patches we've had in quite some time uh, there's gonna be a lot of people hyped a lot of people excited and a lot of people very very upset um, but with that being said here we go getting into the changes omen we have updated projectile effects to better represent a hitbox, especially when it is traveling towards your point of view. That's paranoia. I think it's a good change. Obviously, anytime you're updating clarity to the game, it's going to be a great change. I know the paranoia does have a really, really weird hitbox. Hitboxes are also kind of weird in like a first person game where you can't exactly always tell everything. Um, but they're keep they're trying to keep the overall level of it the same, just kind of clean it up. So it's not really a buffer nerf. Just I mean, it's probably a little bit of a nerf, I guess. But uh, they're just cleaning it up, making it more accurate for everyone, and, and that's just always a good change. Uh, then we have some jet nerfs, blade storm, burst fire. This is her ultimate. Uh, the time between consecutive burst fire use has increased from 0.33 seconds to 0.45 seconds. So it's going to be hard uh, to throw out all those uh, daggers. And then the daggers thrown in burst now have a damage fall off that begins at 12 meters and drops steadily to 35 damage at max fall off. And the headshot multiplier on burst fire has been reduced from three times to two times. Um, so while we continue to investigate some of her outsized strengths, we think that the burst fire on her blade storm has been overperforming at long ranges. I definitely agree with that because it's supposed to be like a shotgun type idea, I guess, where you just obviously burst everything right away. The burst fire is intended to be a close range attack. Yep, I definitely agree with that. And we found it frequently getting frags at over 20 meters away. These changes aim to rein in its effective range while retaining its close range potency and again this is good it does suck that both the operator that's coming up spoiler alert and jet are getting nerfed on the same patch since jet a lot of people say like uh, jet operator crutch and stuff like that um but again uh jet definitely nerfing her right click from long range definitely makes sense it, it is very good it has probably been too good um and also the alt is not one of the more influential parts of jet's kit so i think she's still going to be okay it's, it's pretty minor nerf overall um but yeah, pretty interesting. And again, paired up with operator nerfs, jet mains are definitely going to be upset. But I don't think she should be too in too bad of a spot. Uh, Viper, we got a lot coming out for Viper. Her fuel, Viper now starts around with 100 fuel, previously 50. I think that's a great change. I think that just makes sense. It was kind of frustrating having to wait to use your abilities or just have them run out super fast at the beginning of rounds. Snakebite, the vulnerable debuff applied from Snakebite now lingers for two seconds after leaving Viper's Acid. And then Viper's Pit, moves be doubled while casting. And Viper now... Fast equips her weapons after casting, re-equip times vary per gun, but on average will reduce her weapon downtime by 0.4 seconds. They've been buffing Viper for so much. They just keep buffing her, keep buffing her, keep buffing her every patch. She still can't really find a good spot in the meta. Her kit is just so weird. Uh, it, it's good in some ways, but it's horrible in some ways. I think they're going to probably have to make some changes to some of her abilities and stuff. Um, but I guess her attempt for now is just to keep buffing her and keep buffing her and see if anything changes. Um, I don't know. Obviously, these are all good buffs and they're all going to make her better. Um, but I still don't know if you're going to see Viper in the meta necessarily. There's not anything on the screen that screams out to me like, now Viper is better than X agent or something. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of minor buffs each patch. I'm sure we're going to see some more in patch 1.10 as well. Uh, but Viper mains, all three of you rejoice. All right, then we have Reyna. Her Empress fire rate bonus has been decreased from 25% to 15%. Reyna's been a very, very good agent recently, especially be, especially because she's one of the best agents with the Vandal. So once the Vandal actually got some buffs in the previous patch, uh, Reyna started overperforming in some ways. Again, this nerf isn't too big of a deal. Um, it's obviously significant, you know, 10% decrease uh, or even more than that because going from 25 to 15 um, but she'll still be very, very good. I mean, her ultimate is definitely a great part of her kit, but her kit is really good. She's an excellent uh, duelist. Um, she's really, really strong right now, and she's really good. Again, she's one of the best agents in the game with the Vandal, which it's on the rise right now. Um, and yeah, this will affect her a little bit, but I think she should still be okay. 
Um, and then we got Brimstone, uh, Stim Beacon Fire Rate uh, has increased from 10 to 15%. It's something, I think Brim's already pretty good. I don't really think, I don't really know if he needs buffs, um, but a Stim Beacon, a lot of people seem to underutilize. So they're just kind of showing it some love. Maybe it'll bring to attention. All right, so now we're getting to the big stuff, the good stuff, the operator changes. Price has been increased from 4,500 to 5,000. Decreased scope movement speed from 76 to 72%. Adjusted weapon dead zone from becoming inaccurate at 30% movement speed uh, to 15%. You, so this means you become inaccurate sooner and you become accurate later when stopping moving. Uh, firing rate reduced. Uh, instant equip time adjusted from 0.3 to 0.5. Instant equip plays after tapping orb, bomb diffuse, plant, jet cloud burst, or phoenix curveball. And leg shot damage decreased from 127 to one. 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six nerfs in total for the operator. It's been the get best gun in the game for pretty much the, the game's entire existence. It's been completely meta defining in low elo, high elo, and professional play. And they really, really went to town on the nerfs in this patch. Again, nobody really knows how this is going to play out. It's definitely going to be much worse, but I still think there's always going to be a place for the operator in the meta of a search and destroy game like this, uh, since it's going to be one shot kill to the body. Um, it's always going to be so, so strong for holding sites, especially on defense. Um, and you're still going to get to play aggressive with it, especially with champions like, or especially with agents like Jet. Um, I'm very, very curious to see how this plays out. I can't wait to get in game uh, and see how the operator is performing at all levels of play. I can't wait to see the, what the pros are able to do with it or how this changes the meta because it could have lasting, lasting effects. But the operator has been so good for, for pretty much the entire length of the game. I think knocking it down for a little while is, is not a bad decision. We'll have to see uh, what, what comes out of this. Uh, for all weapons, they have the jump land inaccuracy uh, state change from gradual to binary. Uh, the duration is increased from 0.2 to 0.225, which should really mean nothing. And jump land inaccuracy value increased from 5 to 7, so you're more inaccurate uh, right when you're landing. Uh, then we have competitive updates during this patch. The chances of being in an hour plus queue should be notably reduced. That sounds like a great change. Uh, we also have Riot ID reviews. Um, removed multi-line breaks in chat, changes to party push talk settings will now take effect immediately, which is great. <laughs> the chat window can now be pinned to stay open across menus and the social panel sorting logic. Couple bug fixes, and that is all. Again, this is a big patch. This is there's gonna be a ton of changes. A lot of we have five agents, we and we have the operator. Um, this is a big patch, a lot of exciting stuff, and again, depending on who you're asking, probably a jet main, some very not exciting stuff, but it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite change for this patch? What's your least favorite change? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.